Welcome all, distinguished delegates and other participating members. We are privileged to present the topic Software Development for 64-bit Risk 5 Processor Verification before the August audience. I am Sangeeta Ayan, doing internship and working under the guidance of Srinadas, who is a principal engineer. So let me introduce our organization, Center for Development of Advanced Computing, that is CDAC, and its ongoing projects. Then we can dive into the topic. Our organization, CDAC, is a research and development organization under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, that is METI, Government of India. This has been spread all over India in 11 centers, naming a few, Trivandrum, Pune, Noida, Hyderabad, Chennai. And we are coming from CDAC Trivandrum. As part of the microprocessor development program and its objective to design and develop indigenous family of microprocessors, related IPs, and the product development that means various requirements in the various sectors that is strategic industrial and commercial our organization has developed vega cds based on an open source risk 5 instruction set architecture which consists of 32 bit and 64 bit processors developed in single core and multi core processors the Vega series is suitable for embedded and high performance applications. The processors for embedded applications are developed in single core and it follows in order execution. And the processors for high performance applications are developed in single core and multi core, executed in out of order fashion, and it supports floating point unit. These are built with multi level caches, memory management unit, and coherent interconnect. CDAC has also integrated a wide range of peripheral IPs like USB OTG, GMAC, DMAC, there is DMA controller, and it has ported the SOCs on FPGA boards, booted the operating systems like Linux, FreeRTOS, and uh, various bare metal and Linux applications has also been implemented like object detection, face detection, and its performance has been verified with standard benchmarks. These are compatible in desktop systems with keyboard, mouse, and Ethernet. CDEC has also successfully designed and developed a digital programmable hearing aid named Tarag. It uses sophisticated processing techniques based on an indigenously developed ASIC named Nada. The hearing aid, Tarang, is customized to the individual's hearing profile using a software package, Shruti, to provide near normal hearing to the patient. The unique feature of the product developed for the hearing aid is as per the patient's profile and also a low cost alternative when compared with other expensive programming solutions available in the market. So, these are the ongoing projects of CDAC. Now, for discussing the next set of slides, I'm handing the session over to Srinath sir. He'll be talking about the development of software model based on risk five and how it is verified. So, over to you, sir. Hello, everybody. I am Srinath, Principal Engineer, Center for Development of Advanced Computing, India. And we are developing <coughs> Vega series of processors as part of the microprocessor development program by Government of India. And uh, now I am leading the software development team for the verification and demonstration of the Vega series of processors. Also, uh, in our center, we had developed a series of SOCs based on Vega processors and the SOCs contains various peripheral IP ports like USB OTG, Gigabit Ethernet, SD host controller, DMA controller, QSPI, Click, etc., which is also developed in our center. 
we had ported various operating systems like Linux, FreeRTOS, and Sapphire OS for Vega processors. And uh, we have developed board support package for the above mentioned IP course for the bare metal application program development. And also we had uh, developed uh, Linux device levels for this IP course and we had successfully verified this IP course using Linux device drivers. We had run various bare metal and Linux application programs on these SOCs and uh, the Linux applications run on the Vega based SOCs include object detection based on YOLO and face detection based on OpenCV. We had developed a desktop-like system uh, based on the Vega processors with the keyboard, mouse, display, and Ethernet support. Uh, the system with uh, the system is with uh, GUI support and we can play different games. We can uh, browse internet and uh, also we can do documentation and uh, we can create folders and we can use calculator and everything else which is possible by a desktop PC we can do with uh, the desktop system we developed with our processor. Nigama is a software based uh, RISC-V processor model which is developed in our center and it is developed in CPP language and Nigama is compliant with RISC-V unprivileged and privileged specifications. Nigama supports UART and display emulation means uh, application programs with the uh, UART and uh, graphic programs can be run on our model and uh, the UART and the graphics display can be emulated on Nigama. Various features of Nigama includes uh, it supports memory management unit, floating point unit, uh, it supports external timer and software interrupts and uh, it supports all types of exceptions like uh, illegal instruction, store access fault, page fault, etc. And Nigama supports N extension means it supports user mode interrupts and there is uh, an option for on-chip debugger support in Nigama. So we can connect Nigama with the uh, OpenOCD and GDB for debugging various application programs. We use Nigama as a reference model for debugging our processor. For debugging the processor, we connect Nigama with the processor running on FPGA or HDL simulator and uh, for the interface between the Nigama and the processor we use Ethernet. For the <coughs> verification of the processor, we run same program on Nigama and the processor and the result of each instruction from the processor is sent to Nigama through Ethernet and the result of each instruction on Nigama is compared with that of the processor 
and if there is a mismatch, an error message is printed on Nirma. The error message contains the PC at which the mismatch occurred and the register memory or CSR value if there is a mismatch on that and the register memory or CSR address if there is a mismatch on that and the total number of instructions completed till the mismatch. The above mentioned data from the error message is used for debugging the processor. The processor can be debugged using two methods. A simple method is to examine the disassembly of the program and find out the mismatch PC in the disassembly and we can examine that particular instruction for a problem if any and uh, we can solve that problem in the processor. If the problem is complicated, we have to simulate the processor on an HDL simulator and we will run the program with mismatch on that processor and we will, the, we, and we will examine the, the particular instruction with the mismatch PC in the HDL simulator and we can find the bug. Various features included uh, in the processor verification using Nigama are we can use external interrupts and timer interrupts during the comparison uh, because in uh, in the in Nigama it will not take external or timer interrupts directly. We will send the external interrupt or timer interrupt information to Nigama uh, from the DUT, and when Nigama gets that uh, gets that information, it triggers external or timer interrupt, and so we can keep the uh, instruction flow in a synchronized manner and the comparison between DUT and Nagama goes in a synchronized way. Also, the, also to speed up the comparison, uh, the Ethernet packet sent from DUT is made by uh, the result of more than 2000 instructions and the packet is sent to Nigama for comparison. If uh, the result of each instruction is sent as an either packet to Nigama, the process will be too slow. So we wait for the completion of those 2000 more than 2000 instructions in the DUT and we will make a make it a packet and we will send that packet to the Nigama. There is a handshaking mechanism for uh, for synchronization between Nigama and DUT. Uh, for that handshaking whenever an Ethernet packet is received by Nigama, Nigama sends an acknowledgement to DUT, which is waiting for the same. And when the DUT receives that acknowledgement, it further executes the remaining instructions. And the synchronization between the Nigama and DUT is kept. Verification of a processor using Nigama is very simple, easy and faster. A person without much technical knowledge can also 
uh, use this method to find a mismatch. <coughs> Uh, by running various applications in Nigama and the processor and if there is a mismatch the processor can be debugged. It is a very fast method for the verification because uh, we can run heavy Linux applications like object detection which contains more than 2 billion instructions uh, for verifying the processor in this method and uh, to verify the processor with uh, more than 2 million instructions in this comparison mode it takes only less than 30 minutes so the verification is much faster thank you